If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. California had two large, very powerful stacks, but none of them will make it back or be able to do a detour like I said that Desert Fox should do because he barely logs in, right? He's active once a day, he's not able to read the whole chat. Even if I tag him, I send him screenshots, he doesn't do much. He lost one stack further in Kamchatka against the railroad guns, and now he's getting threaded by 10 battleships for hours on end it's just so frustrating to watch if i would have just had the knowledge back then of what i know today i would have attacked california simply with north mexico illinois and then i would have killed illinois with mexico and then kill ontario california might be more experienced and he might have made good army compositions but if you're not online to use them they serve no purpose ontario due to the fact that he actually listens and is more active, he's 10 times the better player than California ever will be if he continues down this road. Same thing over here, California has already 9 level 4 naval bombers, he's producing more, but he's not online to use them. It's already days now that this submarine stack is at his coast, and it's the same stack that he was able to damage down to 50% health points. Look how many days it has had to heal up, this is so stupid man. So we've got me and Mexico over here with his uh, rocket fighters, naval bombers who are actually safeguarding California because he's not on the line to do it for himself. So sad. California is finally moving out of there but it is in vain because he's gonna get trashed. He says he was asleep and that he's more active now but uh, he's been warned twice that there were battleships there both by Mexico and by Colombia. That's the whole reason why Colombia retreated over there. I hope those battleships have split off to follow California because if they have split off to go towards Colombia then things could turn badly very fast. I mean Colombia should have done the trick like I proposed as soon as I told him to do so right? But he has waited too long and now he's obligated to wait until after they change to make his move in case that they have spies on him it would give him away. So he wasted 24 hours. He could have have saved his entire army and have gotten them behind their lines right here on the plains from where he could be very fast or even here on the hills the distance between the sea and land is not far I'm counter-attacking in Africa as most of the provinces are empty and I am targeting here this armored car but there's a second one here so I think I should actually hit it on patrol but they're very fast what are you doing BM Fox, no. Oh, I hit the stop. No, that's not good. You want to hit the patrol. But I risk being counterattacked out of Valletta. And there's no air bases here. No building here. No. Why didn't they make any air bases in Valletta? That would have been pretty simple to do. It looks like they don't have any connecting air bases across the Mediterranean. What is that all about? That's poor invasion planning, but yeah, better for me. So I think they don't have interceptors here in the range, so I can get counterattacked, so I can use patrol. All the better for me, right? Let's take out all these units. Taking out single units and more stacks without any anti-air in it is what bombers excel in. On top of it, they're all in my red triangle, so I'm gonna be able to pick them off one by one. I've done my first patrol shot. The armored car is now below 50% hit points, which is great. So I'm gonna adjust uh, my patrol circle. He's force marching, trying to get out of there, but it won't work. I mean, you can't outrun planes, man. Impossible. He needs 22 minutes and 20 seconds and I'm gonna arrive in uh, 1 minute 55 so in about 17 minutes I'm gonna have my next patrol shot and that unit is gonna be dead and after that the next armored car is on the menu he's forced for marching that one too but it won't escape forget about it man because as I've said before, usually those single units that grab a lot of territory are way really more dangerous than those big stacks. It's those single units that hurt your economy, take out city after city. It's those you need to attack in priority. The next day. We are 27 minutes into day 25. We've revealed all the nations but New South Wales. If my allies would have done what I've asked them and put their spies where I've advised them, as each was responsible for a nation to reveal the armies we could have avoided this disaster and seen it coming but four days we 
only revealed Turkey, which was mine to reveal. Now it's basically too late. As you can see, there is red everywhere. In Kamchatka, it is looking pretty grim for our desert fox, Colombia. As there was already a sub over here, so they knew what he was up to. He could have gotten away from a single sub. There wouldn't have been any problem. If he would have moved yesterday, right, right after day change, which he didn't. Now the battleships are moving in. They're gonna arrive in one hour. It's GG for that stack and it's 185 units. 185 units that are gonna be torn apart by battleships. I cannot help because my battleships, they are still far, 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 very far away. I need one day and 21 hours. Pretty bad, right? Wait for it, it gets worse. Let's go to Africa. I've decided right before they change to direct attack this armored car. Unfortunately, I was not able to take it out at once, which is a shame. Next target is... Oh, did I just see 20 tactical bombers? Are those mine? Oh, that was a bug. Did you see that? That was weird. There are 20 tactical bombers right over here, but they were mine. Okay, so now I want to switch targets. See, it happened again. That's so weird, man. My planes are not even there. In Africa, there's units everywhere. It is uh, pretty bad. A lot of railroad guns from Persia. Always railroad guns, railroad guns, railroad guns. Making a giant stacks. You can't do anything against it. And it's access railroad guns. The only thing you can do against them is nukes. But of course, they planned their invasion well. They planned their invasion right before I could produce nukes, which they know, of course. They've been playing so passively that we almost were half asleep. And then once we're dreaming, they start attacking. And there's a lot of units, man. Nine railroad guns, 20 anti-air. You got another eight. So that's 17, 27, 28, and 29. Two level four tanks from Indochina. Luckily, it didn't send more. An additional 10 railroad guns from Turkey. A little bit of air force, right? That's 10, 20, 30, 40. Two of them to the nine. That's 60 interceptors all maxed out. And then an additional 20 rocket fighters level two. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And as if that was not enough, Turkey is bringing even more railroad guns. I mean, they didn't choose for a complicated uh, tactic, right? Just make railroad guns with a lot of anti-air. We're going to make a lot of interceptors. That's basically it. Big naval stacks, done. And we've got the Persian Navy over here that is safeguarding the Suez Channel. On top of it, his battleships are level 6, dude. God. And as they ha didn't have enough interceptors yet, there are, there are 10... Level 5 interceptors right here with 10 naval bombers. Level 4, they're super fast, they have long range. There's not a lot of units in Saudi Arabia, but you can never land. Also here, there are naval bombers. Level 3, who guard the whole Arabian Peninsula. And then on the other side, we have Turkey, who has landed a large artillery stack here. He has 10 rocket artillery and 10 SP rocket artillery, 10 medium tanks in there, 9 SP anti-air. Ah, you gosh. There's another artillery stack over here with an additional 10 rocket artillery. So we need to choose our fights, man. And the fight is to retreat. Retreat! We're gonna attack those we can attack. Let's... Ah, no, no, no. I don't want to pass there. That's way too close to the railroad guns. No, no, no. I want you to go over here. Yeah, that's good. Over here. And then... No, let's not go over there. I know you want to avoid the mountains, but it's not a good plan. I don't want to go over here. It's too close to the railroad guns, man. Let's go over here. At target. There we go. And here as well. <laughs> Let's get out. There we go. Because those railroad guns, they're going to start coming. And at target. And at target, we're going to go over here. Perfect. Now, as for my SP artillery, it might actually be shorter to go through here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to leave it like this. I mean, we need to choose the battles we can win, right? Unfortunately, I won't have the opportunity to produce nukes. I think that's obvious to everyone, right? I'm going to send this army armored car over here. There we go. These units probably won't be here anymore. But anyway, I'm going to try to target them. 
I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. I want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel.